فاسألوا أهل الذكر إن كنتم لا تعلمون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على من أرسله الله رحمة للعالمين وعلى آله وصحبه وإخوانه إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Somebody asked me a question A sister She said I am married to a brother Who had previously been married He had children for his previous wife And he and her are not married anymore He's not married to his previous wife He's only married to me but what has happened is he has to sometimes talk to his ex-wife about the kids that are involved. She said, sometimes I sense that he talks to her beyond what is needed. So he dwells into speeches and has times which he jokes with her. She's asking what is the bar bid, what is the boundaries that are allowed for him to talk to her and what is the ruling regarding that. The answer to that question, inshallah ta'ala, is if a man divorces his wife, min adatiha, and she has left the time that was set for her. So she's left, left her th cycles, her three-month cycle is finished. Her idda is over. It is not permissible for him. That which was once permissible for him when he was married to her. When he was with her, he could say what he wanted to his wife and he could she speak to her. But now that he has, the cycle, the idda has finished, she has now become a mra'ah ajnabiyya. She became a foreign woman from you. Walaha an tukallima. Walahu an tukallima. It is permissible for him to talk to her بِمَا لَا يَزِيدُ عَنْ قَدْرِ الْحَاجَةِ That which does not go beyond the need. وَبِالْكَلَامِ الْمَعْرُوفِ الْخَالِي مِنَ الْفِتْنَةِ وَالْرِيبَةِ And he has to stay away from what? Speeches that will force fitna to come. And doubtful matters. And he is not allowed to soften his speech as much as she is not allowed to do the same for him. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says, فَلَا تَخْضَعْنَ بِالْقَوْلِ فَيَطْمَعَ الَّذِي فِي قَلْبِهِ مَرَضْ وَقُلْنَ قَوْلًا مَعْرُوفًا He should not soften his speech. And she should not soften her speech. Because it could go out of hand. And it is not permissible for him to use the children as a means للوصول إلى الفتنة to do fitna with her. So he can't say, I'm not going to have no relationship with my children unless you, we talk as the way we want or I come to your house and I speak, see, see you and etc. He's not allowed to do that. And the sister is not allowed to obey him in that. A lot of the times what you, find, you see is a sister and her husband have gone two different separate ways. And then what happens is that she uses the children against him to get things from him that are not allowed in the Sharia ah, or he does the same to her. It is not allowed. It is upon the man and the woman, both of them, to fear Allah wa Taala, and that they should know Allah wa Taala. He said, Allah knows the eye that is deceiving and what is in the people's minds. Allah wa Taala knows what's in that. That which your hearts are concealing, and that which you are. Hold him back. Allah knows that you're doing. If the man wants the woman that he was previously married to the brother, and it is not baynunatil kubra, meaning the, th the, the three talaq hasn't finished, there's one left or, or there's two more left, then here we will say, go back to her. If, the, if you're scared that the fitna might come, but make sure that you are just and you are fair, and you give her her rights, um, and you do for the other wife. والعلم عند الله تبارك وتعالى وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وإخوانه إلى يوم الدين وسلم تسليما.